If you just bought a new M1 Mac computer, but you didn't have enough money to upgrade the internal storage, you're probably wondering what you can do to save up some space on your internal drive. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install Mac apps and games on your external drive so that you can free up some space on your internal storage. For the purpose of this video, I will be using this custom NVMe SSD drive that I bought from Amazon and inside this enclosure I have the Samsung 970 EVO Plus with 1TB of storage and I get around 650 megabytes read and write speed which is quite fast but I know that this NVMe SSD drive is capable of achieving much higher speed and for that reason I'm planning to upgrade to a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure in the future. Anyway, the Mac I'm using is the base model M1 Mac Mini with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. Now let's get started and the first thing you should do is to format your external drive. To do this, you go to Disk Utility and here we have the internal drive and as you can see it uses the APFS file system. Now we are gonna select the external drive and then we are going to erase it. If for some reason you cannot see the APFS file system, what you can do now is go to this button here at the top and select show all devices. Now you are able to see all the devices and volumes available on your system. Now we can select the external drive, then we are going to erase it. You can change it to whatever name you like, I will just call it Nielsen M1. In order to select the Apple file system, you should change the scheme to guild partition map. By doing this, now you have the option to select the APFS file system. So we select the APFS and then we erase the drive. Now you can see that the external drive is using the Apple file system and it should be now ready to install games and apps. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to install some apps on the external drive. We're gonna start with the Adobe Creative apps such as Photoshop and Adobe XD. First of all, let's open Adobe Creative Cloud, then click on your picture profile, preferences, and go to apps. Now what you should do is change your installation location to the external drive. Before you select the external drive, you should create a new folder called Applications to store all of your apps and once it's done, select the Applications folder and click Open. Now whenever you install a new Adobe Creative application, it will appear on your external drive as you can see here. Let's now open Adobe XD to see if everything is working as it should. As you can see, everything seems to be working without any problems. Now, if you already have some apps installed on your computer and you would like to move them to the external drive, what you can do is go to your applications folder and just move the app to the applications folder on your external drive. Now let's open the app to see if it's working as it should. As you can see, everything seems to be working fine. There is one problem whenever you install or move an app to your external drive. And that is the fact that your apps stop showing on your launchpad. And to solve that, we are gonna create a shortcut. We can do this by right click on the application and then click Make Alliance. Now you just move the shortcut that we created into the applications folder on your internal drive. You can change the name if you want, I will change it to just Firefox. Now if we go to Launchpad, you can see that the application is now showing here. Let's open it you can see that everything is working without any problems. The process of installing games on your external drive 
will depend on which game you're installing. Some games will offer you the option to change the installation location during the installation process. And if you are using Steam, that process is also very simple. First you have to open Steam, then come up here and click on Steam, Preferences, and then you go to your download section. Here at the top you want to click on Steam Library Folders, then add a library folder. What you want to do now is select your external drive and create a new folder. Then click OK and then we're gonna click select. Now you can see that it added a new Steam library on your external drive. Now every time you want to install a new game, you will have the option to choose your internal or external drive. Now I'm gonna run a disk speed test so you have a better idea of how fast or slow this external drive is compared to the internal SSD and other drives such as Samsung T5 and the traditional hard drive. Let's start with the internal SSD. As you can see, it is super fast. We get over 2000 megabytes per second write speed and the read speed is almost 3000 megabytes per second. Now we're gonna test the external drive. You can see that we get over 600 megabytes per second write speed and almost 600 megabytes per second read speed. Here you can see that my custom SSD drive is two times faster than the Samsung T5 drive when it comes to the write speed. And as you can see here, we also get very similar results when comparing the read speed. I bought this enclosure from Amazon for only £29. And there are fast and affordable NVMe SSDs out there that you can buy and pair with this enclosure and get better performance for less money compared to the Samsung T5. I found this NVMe from WD with 1TB of storage on Amazon that costs only £85. And that brings a total price of £114 for the enclosure and the SSD drive, which is £11 cheaper than the Samsung T5 drive. And on top of that, you can upgrade this enclosure in the future for a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure and get even higher speed. Well, that's all for today, guys. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because I have more content coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.